co-steering was a fabulous exercise. Um, I knew it would be fun, but it also, I think everyone at some point had something come up. And, you know, even those that were leaping off of things, that one where we had to run down on the, the thing, that, that got virtually everyone. Go for it! My favorite part of tour was, I think, the co-steering. I've never done, I've done cliff jumping like casually, if you can casually cliff jump. <laughs> um, but doing like all like the climbing, um, jumping, swimming all in one, and then the different kind of activities they put us through within that um, was super fun. Like the washing machine where we all kind of get like tossed around. And it was just awesome to do it all together and just like see what makes people tick, see where people like go to their comfort zone. So that was really cool. Hey. Um, getting here and then leaving for tour the next day. I mean, everyone was exhausted, so at least we were all in the same boat. Um, it was definitely forced me to be on the UK time zone rather than stick in the Canadian zone. So I got accl <laughs> acclimatized pretty fast. That's the word. Um, it was tough, but it was the best way I could have done it, probably. Such a hard try. Oh, honestly, no. so, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's bedtime now. I think it really helped us gel off field, so we know so much more about each other now. Um, and I think we did a lot of workshops that get to know us as a person and how we react to situations. Um, and I think that's so, so crucial for knowing how people are going to react on field to things. So we can just take that and translate it right on field. So when we know if someone's shutting down or if they're kind of going into that red zone and going a little bit like hot, crazy, mad, we know where they're coming from and why they react that way. So I think it's really interesting to put into a rugby perspective as, long, um, as well as off field. Generally, where do we harsh from? Hip, so we bring the ball down here. Get it out. If you try and do it up here, it gets all caught up. Um, I think my coaching style is uh, quite a lot about discovery, so allowing the players to um, discover things for themselves in terms of like even skills-wise, so kicking, handling, it, it's all got to be uh, what works for them. So although there is a way to do it, uh, they've got to be able to put their own, their own stamp on it. I think that's really important. George's going to come this side. I'm going to offload the ball to her. OK, then I might go back. Fit, fit work. Um, our aims for the season, to be honest, we're a bit of an unknown quantity, aren't we? So I think, you know, there's not, there's not a lot of expectation on us from the outside. Um, we've got a fantastic group of players. This has done an amazing job with her recruitment. And I think for me, it's just a real excitement and, and just making a big impact on that league um, and, and doing the best we can whilst having a lot of fun. Um, for me, individually, just making sure, helping the players be the best they can be skill set wise and then also that, that mental uh, help on and off the pitch. Uh, so we're in the best place every time we go into a game. Just try to, that, in that sense, force. Shoulder through. Yes, Liz! The mood in the group has changed quite significantly since tour. Uh, there's definitely better relationships uh, within the group. Um, the girls seem much tighter and I think there's a lot more um, ability to for people to talk about struggles, you know, if they're struggling on the pitch or away from the pitch, there's definitely a, a much tighter knit group there. The, the coastal competition where we walked along the path and had all these little challenges, the girls absolutely loved that. Um, so I think the activities brought out even more than I'd hoped. So that was probably what surprised me more than individuals. The coastal walk was quite lovely and tiring. Um, my legs were dead at the end of it, but I did get quite a lot out of it. Like the scenery was really, really nice. Like I remember just taking loads of pictures of Julia, um, of like just the scene like over the waters and stuff. So yeah, that was really nice. And like the the little activities that we had to do together as a team, that was quite nice. Um, even though like everyone, I think everyone ended up like kind of getting annoyed at each other because we wanted to win so bad. But at the end of it, it was actually really nice. So yeah. Everything I did in the tour was like very new to me and it made me realise that I am actually much more confident than I think I am. Like I put myself into situations which I would never do before, like 
with the surfing, the kayaking, the jumping off cliffs, like cl rock climbing even, like it was just like a lot of things that were out of my comfort zone, but I ended up like really enjoying it. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, oh it was much closer. Death. Tyson, do you want to peel? Yeah. Do you want to sit there? Yeah. It's really difficult. Yeah. This is going to really confuse you. Challenge is how high can you throw this? Um, we'd been out all night camping, not slept very well, um, got up early, had to strike camp, had to do it, and then I took, and the, 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 the mood was one of real fatigue, and it was like, oh my God, we've got to go canoeing. They did it, they loved it, and then we couldn't get them out the sea. When I was in my canoe, I like fell out every time I got in it. Like I, I had to have, have like two members of staff on me because I just couldn't stay in the canoe. They all went in together and the, the raft got bigger and bigger and bigger and they were all facing the waves. More and more girls and all of them in yellow crash helmets, which made it even better. And then the first wave they bobbed on, the second wave was coming towards them. And as it hit them, everybody went everywhere. But the connection that that showed me that it was kind of a symbol that we're now weren't a bunch of individuals, but we've become a team. And that's how I viewed it. Trail fighters! The first thing is that I want every individual to feel that they belong here and that they love coming here. Um, and that's staff as well, <coughs> because if you get that, you get performance straight away. You get, you know, the opportunity as well to reach top end performance when people are really happy in an environment and want to be here. I want to see every single player Im improve as an individual and develop as a as a player and as a person. I want to see us support their dual career, so because they're not all full time athletes, to really support them in the ways that they have to work. The, the work that we can, can help them do um, and watch them grow and develop in that so that they have working towards careers after their rugby. And then as a team, I really want us to be competitive, like really competitive. Am I putting on a thing of where we have to finish? No, because that's out of my control because there's other teams that are doing things, but I want us to be really competitive and I want us to play a really expansive an entertaining game of rugby where all 15 are involved and they all bring their X factors to the field. And if I achieve that after year one, I'll be very, very content.